Hey guys, so I'm back with another video, very late today, but I wanted to get it out anyway. Today is the last day of Celebration, and Celebration is our annual event that runs from January, the beginning of January to the end of March, and you can earn free product when you make, um, for, with every $50 purchase. So, the free product I'm going to feature today is the Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series Paper. There is a stamp set in the Occasions Catalog, Bubble Over. So you get the stamps, and then you can get the bundle and save 10% to include the dies. The dies are a lot of fun because you have standalone dies that you can use by themselves. There's no stamp with it, but that coordinate with the stamp set. So this is Bottles and Bubbles Framelit Dies. Um, it's Bubble Over Bundle is what it's called. And it's just a really fun bundle. I really enjoyed playing with it. And the paper is awesome. So... Like I said, with a $50 purchase, you can earn the paper for free. The bundle is $40, and then if you add a couple things, one thing, an ink pad and whatever, um, some stamp dimensionals, then it'll reach you to take you to $50, and then you can choose the paper for free. So here is the stamp set, and here is the, the dies. They don't come like this. I do use um, vent covers I get from Lowe's, and store my dies that way. But you get two straws, two bottles, they're slightly different in size, two little labels, two of these, two, uh, four bottle caps, and a couple other things. Here's a, a flat bottle cap and a few other things with that. And then the sentiments, may your, ha may your day bubble over with happiness, have a birthday brew, your kindness is most refreshing, thank you, for you, yay. And you have some bubbles. You also have a bubble die right here. So that is the stamp set and the dies. The paper is really cool because you have your typical patterns. You have a bubble pattern, then some stars, and then on the other side, you have this. But what I really love is the bottle pattern. The bottle pattern you can use your dies to cut out. So you have two different size um, bottles. So it will cut these out, which I think is so cool. And it looks like the flat bottle opener may cut out the bottle openers here. I didn't try it, but I'm pretty sure they will. So really cool. I love when pattern paper is like that where you can use the dies to cut it out. So today I'm going to try to focus on a card that just uses the paper since today is the last day you could get the paper if you choose. Um, it's also a great time to sign up for Stampin' Up! because you get $125 worth of product for $99 but you can also choose two free products in the annual catalog for free two free stamp sets and it can be any of your choice. So today I'm going to be using Calypso Coral Card Base, measures A2 size, five and a half by four and a quarter. It is top folding. I've already pre-cut the pieces of the DSP I'm using, so this is just a fourth of an inch smaller. And then I don't remember what this size is. It is four and a quarter by three. Yeah, four and a quarter by three. I'm using Calypso Coral Ink. I'm also bringing in the mini striped ribbon and lemon lime twist. And I've gone ahead and cut out, die cut out my bottles. And this is from the DSP that I will be using. I went ahead and cut out my straws with some Whisper White. And I have three bottle caps. Here is a solid bottle cap if you wanted to know what that looked like. Um, I'm going to show you a sample card I made with that. But here are three bottle caps that I used the Silver Mirror cardstock. It comes in 12 by 12, I believe. I have had this for a while. I think it comes in 12 by 12, but I cut mine down 6 by 6 and just put it in a pack. So there's the gold, but then the silver back here. So I used that. Um, and here are some inspiration cards I made. This one I got out of the catalog, actually. I cased the catalog, so right here. So I made this, and here I used those, that silver 
bottle cap, and then at the top, um, I, I stamped those. And then I added some of that lemon lime twist ribbon, and this is a cute little note card. I love this one. Added some dimension, so that looks really fun. Then for this one, what did I use? I kind of used in the celebration catalog, this is my inspiration. Just the layout. Chose some different paper. Love that. I broke up the sentiment, may your day bubble over with happiness, just like they did. So that one, and then this one, I wanted to try, I wanted to make a masculine card. So I picked two of the pieces of pattern paper that I thought kind of looked like manly drinks. <laughs> I don't know, kind of looked like beer. That's what I was going for. And this, if you can see, there's a texture and kind of a gloss. I actually cut out, I used the die and cut out a piece of vellum. Before I cut it out, I stamped it in early espresso and then I used clear embossing powder to heat emboss that. So. I'm hoping that you can kind of see as if there's condensation on the bottle. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. And then I cut it out using the die um, but that, that I used for vellum. And then there are the little caps, the silver caps. And then I used some burlap ribbon just to give it a little something on an early espresso card base. And then again, this is all the DSP I used. So those are my three sample cards. Really love them. Love playing with the kit. Um, the, the bundle will be available till May 31st, but the paper, like I said, today's the last day. So let's go ahead and get to it. This will be a really quick video once I get going because I have everything already pre-cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my pieces here. I've been dying to play with this set, and I really wanted to get a video out sooner, but just time got the best of me. But I did want to show you some things with this paper, if you were interested. Or if you have the paper, it gives you some ideas. And then here are my straws. I kind of messed up on die cutting this, so I'm going to put this on the end here. I'm going to kind of place where... I think I want them. Okay. So I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to pop up the ones that will be in the front. All right, not perfect, and I forgot to do the straws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick the straw here, and then I have a straw facing the other way. Just kind of lift up gently. I can even cut this a little. Of course, um, you would do the straw before you would hear this down. Duh. And since this one's kind of hidden, I'm going to attempt to put a straw back here because I don't, I'm not going to be able to get a, um, a bottle cap on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three, one, two, one, two, three, four. So three, probably need another one or I'll add another straw. But I'm going to take these bottle caps and I'm going to put glue dots on the back and then I'm going to adhere them to my piece. All right, I had enough straws and bottle caps. I thought I miscounted. So I went ahead and stamped my sentiment, may your day bubble over with happiness on some Whisper White and I just trimmed it and just cut a, cut a slant. And I'm gonna try to figure out where I want this. I'm gonna be 
covering up the straws a little. Do I want to do that? Do I want to? I don't want to cover up the bottles. And I wanted to add a little bit of the ribbon. So, let me cut a strip. And then I'm going to use some tear and tape at the bottom of this. Just attach this to my sentiment. I'm going to pop this up. And then I guess I'll just stick it over the straws. Oh well. And that is this card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it is so cute and the paper just makes it so much quicker and easier. Already done for you. Um, if you're interested in any of the products I use, the links will be listed below. And again, today is the last day you could earn that paper for free and then it is gone forever. So here are my other sample cards. I have to say this one's a lot of fun. Um, the stamp set is good until the end of May, so I will definitely be back and show you how to do this in a future video. But today I wanted to just focus on the paper with these two cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you want to be a part of my team. Like I said, if you want to sign up, if you want to place a big order, it's the best day to sign up because you do earn those two free stamp sets, which could um, raise your value of your kit another hundred bucks, depending on what you choose. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.